Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. So today we have a GrowWatch solar inverter. And if we have a look on the screen of this one, it's coming up with no AC connection. Now, if you're having it, uh, your GrowWatch inverter come up with a no AC connection message like that, there's a few things that you want to check. And first up will be the solar supply main switch in your switchboard. You want to check that's turned on. And also, if you have one, if you've got an inverter AC isolator beside the inverter, just check that that's turned on as well. Because both those things certainly need to be on for uh, to get rid of the no AC connection uh, message on the screen of your GrowWatt inverter. Uh, if you check both of those things and you're still getting a no AC connection message on your GrowWatt, you are going to have to get an electrician in to uh, work out what's actually going on with your system. And the first thing they're going to check is the AC voltage at the inverter. Now if we just have a look underneath the inverter here. I've actually got the cover off these terminals and they are live. They should always normally be uh, a cover over these terminals. i am just uh, got it off just for to, to show you here to explain what's going on. What they need to do is just check across the uh, active to neutral here and check that we've got around 240 volts, somewhere between sort of 230 to 250 volts. AC is about right if you're in Australia or New Zealand. And so in this case, you can see the inverter definitely has that correct voltage here at the inverter. And so that's telling us that the no AC connection is not a problem on the line into the inverter. It's a problem inside the inverter. Now, uh, if you are having an issue like this and, and you've had an electrician come out and check the AC voltage at the inverter, uh, it is something which will be covered under warranty if the inverter is still under the five year warranty. So if you've got um, proof of purchase that was installed within the last five years, you certainly can make a warranty claim on your grow old inverter for an issue like that. If you're going to do something like that, what you will need is the uh, is a proof of purchase, your uh, invoice saying it's been paid, and you'll also need uh, the model of the inverter and the serial number of the inverter, which can be found down here. Now, if your inverter is outside of the warranty and it's coming with this no AC connection message and you've, you've had an electrician check that you are getting 240 volts at the inverter, there is one last thing that it could be, and that's a fuse inside the inverter may have blown. And we have now seen this a number of times. And, uh, and it is something which is easily fixed, but it's just knowing where to look and uh, making sure you get an electrician to do it because it is something which can be hazardous. So I'm just going to show you where that is. So anyone who is an electrician can uh, can get this sorted out for you without having to replace the whole inverter. So I'm just going to turn the whole system off by turning off the AC and the DC. And I'm going to open up the inverter. So the, one of the reasons uh, you should only do this if you're an electrician is because even when this inverter is turned off, it can still have voltage inside it, which, uh, and they can be hazardous voltages, which, which uh, could certainly give you a good electric shock. So I uh, certainly recommend only uh, this only ever be done by a licensed electrician. So in here, we have a little AC fuse. You can see that little white fuse there. That is the AC fuse, which we have seen a number of times, that blown. And so if that blows, then the inverter is going to come up with this no AC connection issue. And we found on the, on, the, on the times that we have seen this, when we replace that fuse, the inverter has usually just uh, started up and worked away nicely again. So that's one way, well, one important thing to check if you are getting that no AC connection issue. But like I said, make sure it's done by a licensed electrician. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.